The steam locomotive in the 2004 Christmas film, The Polar Express, was based on Pere Marquette number 1225, but you probably already knew that. So the question is, how was 1225 chosen for the Polar Express? Over literally any other locomotive out there. The Pierre Marquette Railway had merged into the Chesapeake and Ohio in 1947. They inherited the Pierre Marquette's Berkshire locomotives, but started retiring them in the early 1950s as dieselization took hold. This included number 1225, which only ran for 10 years. Upon being retired in 1951, it sat in a scrap line until being donated to Michigan State University's East Lansing campus in 1957. 1225 was at the tail end of the deadline and thus easiest to remove from the yard. The CNO had it cosmetically restored and donated the engine to MSU as a piece for engineering students to study. Though the college wasn't impressed and saw it as an eyesore that was displayed south of Spartan Stadium. This is where Chris Van Allsburg comes in. He was born in East Grand Rapids, Michigan in 1949. Growing up in the 1950s and 60s, he would attend football games with his father at MSU. This is where he would see 1225 on display and took an interest in playing around it. Much later in 1985, he wrote and illustrated a Christmas-themed children's book known as the Polar Express, with the train aspect deriving from his time with 1225. That same year, 1225, after being moved to Owasso, had been restored enough to move under its own power for the first time since 1951. The Michigan State Trust for Railway Preservation, better known as the Steam Railroading Institute, was now responsible for the engine. It began running excursions throughout the 1990s. In July 2002, a movie adaption of the Polar Express book was underway. Warner Brothers approached the Steam Railroading Institute about using 1225 as a basis for the Polar Express locomotive. Copies of the engine's blueprints were given to Warner Brothers for modeling purposes, and sound recordings were taken from the engine while under steam. The whistle sound, however, was taken from Sierra Railway No. 3. Comparing 1225 to the Polar Express, it's pretty accurate, the main difference being the movie design has a flatter smoke box and it's missing some number boards. Chris Van Allsburg said in response to seeing the locomotive in the film, I remember that train on campus. I can't believe it's the same train. I climbed on that train. I actually stood on it. Funnily enough, 1225's number corresponds with Christmas Day being 1225 on a calendar. The movie released on November 10th, 2004 to a mixed but otherwise positive reception. Shortly after the movie's release, 1225 began leading Christmas-themed excursion trains between Owasso and Ashley, Michigan. These go under the title of North Pole Express, though, due to copyright issues. To this day, rail fans and families still come out to rural central Michigan to see and ride behind 1225, namely during the holiday season. 1225 leads its train out of Owasso and heads for the North Pole, aka Ashley, Michigan, where passengers can meet Santa Claus, shop around, and enjoy some food and beverages. It was through strokes of luck, hard work, and a reminiscing author that gave the engine its iconic legacy today. While many know 1225 as a Pierre Marquette Berkshire, just as many other people know it as the real-life Polar Express. 